<clears throat> Time travel. Last time, we looked at time travel. We explained that it couldn't actually exist. However, it's a fucking concept to play with, so shut up, stop whining. Let's look at it. You don't get a choice. So to begin with, let's look at the basic concept of time travel. It's the act of moving backwards or forwards in time. We have some brilliant examples from time travel done in television shows such as the first series of the revival of Doctor Who or the Star Trek movie, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home from 1986. It's a personal favourite, shut up. It has a brilliant understanding of how it must feel to travel back to the old days of 1986 America. Even as Jim falling in love with a human lady. Jim, it's not a space horror. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud. Anyway, there's some bad examples, for example, there's episodes of Doctor Who where the gang try and stop a space racist. I, I actually don't know what's happening here. Or, you know, this episode of Doctor Who where the gang have to tell Rosa Parks she has to do what she did to advance the civil rights movement. Hold on, these are the same episode. What the fuck? What I'm trying to get at is, well, apart from Doctor Who being a mess these days, is shows and movies are typically semi-decent at doing this. They're semi-decent at showing time travel, unless it's the new seasons of Doctor Who. Then we've got a problem. But let's look closer at time travel. Not that close, that's an atom. You've, you've gone too far. Well done, you idiot. Bit further out. You almost there? There you go, that's about as close as we need to look. You fucking idiot. So firstly, we have your regular time travel where you can take me back in time to see the dinosaurs or maybe the slaves building the pyramids or something or other. It doesn't do anything, it's just a passive observer, just there to watch, but oh no. He stood on a butterfly. Now he doesn't exist. This sort of time travel related concept is called the butterfly effect. It's simple as where a single action will have consequences that ripple out. In this case, Timmy stops existing. Poor Timmy. Poor, poor Timmy. Much like the game Life is Strange, actually. Only that's all you're getting from me from Life is Strange. I hate that game. Fuck off. However, it could be a real concept. If we could time travel, which we can't, thanks past Shadow Square ruining that one. Now speaking of past Shadow Square, say I went back in time and punched myself in the face and told myself to write the script on the train, for example, on the way to my actual job, which spoilers alert, made me very late for my job. Here's the train, it's not really the train, shut up. It would be a completely different kind of time travel. In a sense, I would be forced to time travel back and do what I did to preserve the timeline, which would make me Mobius from the popular show Loki. Fuck you. Here's an Owen Wilson appreciation. Wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow. 
now that my approved Owen Wilson appreciation time is over, we can continue. And guess what? I don't apologise for my actions. I fully am happy with my life choices. This method of time travel can be seen in popular show Doctor Who. Wait, no. No, it can't, because they have different rules. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You know, really means a lot. The rules of their version of self-contact time travel are a bit different, because the time streams are out of sync, because that's a thing that can happen. Don't fight it. Just accept it. This means the younger versions cannot fully remember the event of the self-meeting, which is why my man David Tennant cannot remember meeting Matt Smith or the beautiful John Hurt. God rest John Hurt, he was an amazing actor. This is most looked at in an episode at the end of the 10th series where the Master meets Missy. But it is the Master, don't worry, they just changed the name because funny. Anyway, they meet each other and at the end of their meeting for plot-based reasons and hijinks and shenanigans, Missy shanks the Master prison ball style, not knowing at first she'd do it. This turns the Master into Missy because of regeneration and hot down, we now know all along with Missy that she was going to do it because time travel and self-contact time travel. But sci-fi rants aside, the re it is a reimagining of the forced events time travel. Essentially, you're just a passenger acting on the will of what happened, aka bootstrap paradox with extra steps. Now onto my favorite, or should I say least favorite, time travel method, this is where you, you do actions that directly affect the future. We've got two examples for this. Firstly, my favourite, Umbrella Academy in the second season for plot-based shenanigans. The ragtag group of heroes travel back in time and do some stuff which directly changed the future, essentially throwing the old timeline out the window and making a new funky one. Ho ho. It's a nice way of changing up the show, but it's also slightly problematic because in a sense they wouldn't exist anymore, but it's a TV show and I'm talking about a concept that can't even truly happen, so fuck it. My least favourite, and go with me, go with me, Back to the Future, only because it has no true effect on the future apart from making Marty McFly's parents nicer, and it only happens because he nearly fucked his own mother. Do you understand that? Do you actually understand that? Why would it ever enter your mind to attempt to sex up your mother? No, stop it, put your penis back in its house! And with that closing thought, I shall leave you. I shall not time travel myself, however, because I've missed my stop on the train, which is where I'm writing this from, and now I may be fired. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, don't time travel to Shaggy Mother. I'll see you all soon. Cheerio!